Hey guys, so this is going to be a really weird video for all of us, but um, I just did my first makeup look ever on my channel ever that I probably will ever do anyway, unless you guys want to like see another one because you thought I was like that great, which I really am not. The only reason why I did it was because like only a couple of people have asked me like, do you do makeup? Because my sister does makeup. She's a, a pretty big YouTube guru on YouTube right now. So a lot of people have been asking me, do you do makeup? And the answer is yes, but not professionally or anything like Liza does. Um, and I don't do tutorials, but um, someone asked me to do a regular tutorial of what I do like every day. And I don't really do anything every day. I kind of switch it up. Sometimes I do like a winged eyeliner. Sometimes I do just like nothing because I'm lazy. Today I'm going out to a party for my friend Dylan's 19th birthday. I thought I would do a video for what I'm doing tonight. Tonight I'm just doing like a really neutral kind of plummy fall look and then I did um, some sun-kissed glow on my cheeks and you can't see it at all because the quality is horrible and it doesn't look sun-kissed at all but and then I just did a peachy lip. So um, I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. First I'm taking a translucent powder and a big fluffy brush and just dipping that in there and putting it all over my lids for a smooth base for my eyeshadow. Now I'm taking Painterly Paint Pot and putting that all over my lids as another base. Next I'm going to take my 239 flat shader brush by MAC and my Inglot palette. A light champagne color and just washing it all over my lids. Next I'm taking a fluffy shadow brush and Naked from the Naked palette by Urban Decay and washing that all over for a natural glow. Then I am taking that same brush and Buck from the Naked palette by Urban Decay and putting that all into my crease. Back to the Inglot palette, I'm taking a dark shimmery brown with my 217 and putting that into my crease. Then I'm taking the plum color and putting that into the outer V of my eye. Next I'm taking my 214 in a light, light color and using that as a highlight. Then I'm taking a little bit more and using it to define my arch of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to go into that plum color with a 219 pencil brush and put it on my lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a 231 brush and take the light color I use as a highlight to highlight my inner corner. Now I'm taking translucent powder and a big fluffy brush and putting that under my eyes for a smooth base for my concealer which is the Dark Circle Eraser by Maybelline and it is in natural beige. Now I'm taking my Smashbox Color Corrector and putting it on any red spots and then taking a big fluffy brush with my Neutrogena Skin Clearing Foundation and putting that all over my face. Using Clinique Super Powder in matte bronze and a 168 brush, I am going to be contouring my cheekbones and my forehead and my jawline. Now using Lorax Perfectly Lit Luminizer in Spotlight and a tapered fluffy brush, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Now taking Peach's Blush, it's a nice peachy blush by MAC and a same tapered brush, I'm going to give my face a little bit of a sun-kissed glow. Now taking a fluffy brush and the translucent powder, I am setting my makeup. Taking a spoolie, I am brushing out my brows. Using the Wet n Wild Brow Kit, I'm taking the darkest color and defining them a little bit more with the brush that came with the kit. Now taking eyelash curlers, I'm going to curl my lashes and using Voluminous Million Lashes by L'Oreal, I'm going to give my lashes a little bit of volume. Now taking Laura Mercier's lipstick in Aurora, I am going to put that all over my lips. And using Cargo's Classic Lip Gloss in Whistler, I'm going to put that all over my lips for a nice glossy look. Now taking my Dare to Wear Lip Glass, this is a very, very long wearing lip glass in Wind Me Up. It's a nice gold color and I'm going to put that on the middle of my lower lip and on my cupid's bow to give it a little bit of a dimension. And that is the finished look. So there you have it. There is the final look. Um, I don't know if it looks any better like this or like this. Um, maybe this way you can see that there's a little bit more plum, but maybe not. 
because this is horrible quality. I hope you guys think that I'm kind of okay at makeup because I think I'm kind of okay. I'm not like Liza, but um. So that is the look that I'm wearing tonight. I hope you enjoyed the look and I'm sorry that it doesn't look as sun-kissed as I am supposed to. And I guess that's it. So I will see you all later in the week. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah.